Okay, so we're going to dissect this hoof, and I'm going to teach you the anatomy, the true anatomy um, of the horse's foot, because there's a lot of ideas that have um, taken place over the last several hundred years or more um, about this this foot that is false. So the first thing I do, okay, is I'll take these feet and I will take the hair off of them. Take pictures and take the hair off the off of them so that we can see the skin that grows the hair. Just like you have skin on your head and on your arms and that skin grows your hair, right? Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to uh, tell you the parts of this, this foot. Of course, here's the skin on the leg that grows the hair. Here is, right up here at the very top is what you call the periopal band. And the periopal corium is under that. Now, when I say corium, I mean skin, um, dermis. And just like this skin here grows hair on the leg, what you're going to find is there is a foot inside here covered with skin, just like this, only instead of growing hair, it grows the hoof capsule. Okay, now if we were to look at this leg, look how it's covered with skin. All right, so that's one unit, and that skin keeps it contained, right? Same thing with the internal foot. That foot is a part of this leg. Now, we can see part of the foot here, not this hoof capsule. I'm not talking about what this is. We see the leg right here, even though I've taken the hair off. And so, the part of the foot we see starts right up here and is this cartilage right here. See, a lot of times people think it's just from here down. That's your horse's foot. No, this is just the shoe that your horse grows to support and protect and stabilize his foot. The foot actually is all this up here. That's the only part of the actual foot we can see. Right up into here, this cartilage goes around up into here, up into there. You'll see later when we remove the leg, how the foot is all of this right here. And as such, we need to learn to read this, because I'll tell you what happens. Let's see. Well, we'll look at this This one here. It's a little different. See how that cartilage is pulled down like that? Okay, that means that this foot was incorrectly trimmed. Whereas this foot, it's not perfect, and it is still pulled down some but not as much as this other foot. Because see, this cartilage can be pulled down just like this and bound into the foot and then the hoof capsule grows and binds that foot there and people don't even know that's happening. Um, that leads to situations which I call mechanical laminitis that look like that. And we'll explain that later on. Right now, um, I need to get, clean up my foot here a little. But right now, we're just going to look at all the parts of this, this foot. So, so this is your pastern right here. Now, you have three bones internally, but we're not going to talk about those yet. Okay, what we're going to talk about is just the outer. And so, again, this part is your foot right here. And this right here. Next, as I said, is the periopal, which is grown from some skin under it. We call it dermis or corium. Some corium under it that grows it. And then below that, internally, 
you'll have the coronary band that grows this hoof wall here. 